One power player who has worked out that there's only one kind of publicity is Madonna. The headline hogging began early in the career of the pop goddess who raised the hackles of the Vatican by intertwining religious symbolism with sexual themes way back in the 1980s. Since then, there's been a book called Sex, an album called Erotica, and countless controversial stunts that have ensured her legacy as an eyebrow raiser. She's also been labelled the queen of reinvention, thanks to her incredible talent for surfing new trends and constantly revamping her image. Back in the beginning of the 80s, when she was very first starting, you know, she was favoured for her tutus, little lace gloves, um, wayfarer glasses. Then came the Blonde Ambition Tour and the collaboration with Jean-Paul Gaultier. Probably her most iconic clothing moment is the conical bra, the flesh tone with the um, black wide leg pants. The 90s brought with it Madonna's exploration of Eastern influences. I just have a, a serious fascination with the world of geisha right now and it's got nothing to do with my daughter. Every time she needs to reinvent herself, she manages to do it um, from the sexy kind of symbolism that she brings with her clothing to this more sophisticated glamour now. Um, I mean, she's, she's ever changing. More than any popular artist before her, she's displayed a unique ability to extract every last drop of money-making potential from one bandwagon before making a timely leap onto the next one. While Joni Mitchell once famously commented that Madonna has knocked the importance of talent out of the arena, she had to acknowledge she's made a lot of money and become the biggest star in the world by hiring the right people. In 2006 alone, Forbes magazine put her income at an incredible 72 million US dollars. Much of that had been earned off the back of her controversial Confessions tour, upsetting the Vatican once again by singing from a revolving crucifix encrusted with mirrors. Calls to cancel concerts only increased the publicity and assured her of sellout stadium gigs across the globe. After striking PR gold with that stunt, it was another year before Madge hit the headlines again. This time, the column inches were dedicated to her attempts to adopt a baby boy from Malawi. Controversy erupted over claims she was trying to get around Malawian law by not residing in the country for a year. Then came claims from the boy's father that he had not consented to the adoption. Um, how we many... Had they told us that Madonna wanted to adopt my son, we would not have agreed to let him go forever. It would have been good that he continues staying at the orphanage because I see no reason why my child should be given away for good. Madonna's adoption of David Bander was finalised in May 2008. Ironically, by this time, her eight-year marriage to Guy Ritchie was in trouble amid rumours that she was carrying on an affair with US baseball hero Alex Rodriguez. For once, Madonna seemed a little shy of the spotlight. After making a career out of making headlines, she was now feeling the backlash. I think it, it's hard for all of us. I think, you know, being famous and, you know, being in the public eye all the time and the pressure of that and pressure of people's expectations can weird you out, you know what I mean? And, and, and I think a lot of people compensate for that kind of pressure by doing things that are self-destructive or, or they start to believe the hype, you know what I mean? And I do think you have to work at staying real and surround yourself with people who are. That's certainly no picnic for a woman whose personal fortune has been estimated at somewhere around $400 million. Constantly having to wade through crowds of gold diggers and hangers on to get to the real people must no doubt take its toll. Not that anyone was attaching either of those labels to her outgoing husband in late 2008. He will be entitled to claim some kind of compensation if his career has taken a bit of a backseat to hers. And he may get a few million. He may be entitled to a half share of the main homes that they have here and in America. But I suspect the figures are more likely going to be sort of 10 to 15 plus a million. In fact, he ended up getting around five times that amount when you take into account the value of their country home in Western England. But who's counting? Guy's payout came to less than Madge has proved she can still earn over the space of a year. And having just passed 50, there's no sign that the Queen of Pop is about to hang up her leotard and crucifix. I don't see it coming anytime soon, but, you know, you never know. If I stop loving what I do, that's, that's when I stop doing it.